Following the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ has many perks. One of them is getting the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the process and easily attaining Jannah. And so we find very simple practices that the Prophet ﷺ gave to us that have huge rewards. Some of them, we can't even grasp the rewards. One of those rewards is that which comes with making a very simple dua after you finish eating your food. So this hadith is narrated in Sunnah Tirmidhi and also in Ibn Majah and Abu Dawood. It's an authentic hadith. The Prophet said that whoever finishes eating his food and says, at the time of finishing his food, says, Alhamdulillahi ladhi at'amani hadha wa razaqnihi min ghayri hawlin minni wa la quwa. Which means, all praises be to Allah who sustained me with this and granted this food to me without any doing of my own or without any power of my own. It's a complete acknowledgement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's power and how you did absolutely nothing to deserve it, that it is all from the risk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the doing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can you imagine that the Prophet wasallam said, whoever says this dua after finishing his food, غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ Allah will forgive him for all of his previous sins. Just because you ate and you acknowledged as you finished your food that it was not you that provided that for yourself, rather it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah, all you have to do is be grateful as you eat and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That brings about more risk in your life, more sustenance in your life, and it brings barakah in your life and blessings in your life. And at the same time, it blesses your hereafter as well because the entire purpose of our existence is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to acknowledge His perfection and acknowledge our own shortcomings and imperfections and try to strive for perfection in order to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for all of our sins, the hidden ones and the public ones, the large ones and the small ones. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us His mercy and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us Jannah al Firdaus and the companionship of the Prophet his family, his companions and those that follow. Allahumma ameen.